Hi, my name is Fernanda Olivares and today is July the 24th, 2024. I have a multidisciplinary background since I am both a visual artist and a dancer who experiments with body technology and analog techniques like oil painting. For me, the body has always been fascinating in all its spectrum. I explore dark, light and middle hues on body conception and representation. Body is not about the usual conception of beauty, but a whole complex world of corners, foldings, planes and skin. For me, the connection body-mind is vital. In today's world, we're surrounded by distractions and stimuli that fight for our attention. So the biggest challenge nowadays is to focus on our own connection to the world, our body and mind. My education in dance began since I was a child and it has been a continuous practice during my adulthood. Thus, I was greatly influenced by theatrical body aesthetics with costumes and differently prompted storytelling and characters. I have a mix of influences between painters, choreographers, dancers and performance art in the visual arts as well as technological aesthetics related to the body, the glitch, etc. I admire Paula Rega's work, Marina Abramovich's and Janine Anthony's exploration and body limits. I am also very attracted to poetry, sci-fi short stories, scientific research and keeping up to what's happening in the technological world. I have a multidisciplinary approach where every area inspires me in many ways. At the moment, I am finishing a series of hybrid paintings inspired on machines um, misrepresented human anatomy, understanding technology that vastly improves itself. I am focusing on this artistic research as well as experiments with digital arts and multiple 2D and 3D tools that resemble the analog language along with choreographer first and AI motion capture where I can fit in the physical and the hybrid body. The biggest challenge of being an artist is Probably understanding that external approval is overrated. Everyone work, works differently and calls multiple audiences. I believe that you need to stick to your genuine voice and make it clearer as your work evolves. Also, not being caught in the fortune wheel trap of either being up or down. Consistency is necessary, as well as discipline with yourself and your work, not only when you have a big event, exhibition, or sudden attention. To my younger self, as an advice, probably I would say to start before. The importance of experimenting and implementing learning ahead to make plans for your artistic objectives, spending more time on knowing yourself, your mind and your body for learning to distinguish what fits and what doesn't. I am quite keen on translating digital mediums to analog and vice versa. I've been enjoying practice with motion capture and 3D scans for playing with dance poses, juxtaposed anatomies, complementing and exchanging oil painting. For working, music sometimes can be too distracting unless it has a pattern of over-repeating itself. Otherwise, I like listening to podcasts or conferences where I can both learn and work at the same time. Mm, I like my work when it's appreciated by children and somehow connects them to their own body and possibilities in a playful way. This has happened on three occasions, calling my attention on how body can be a direct medium to be back to ourselves, and also understanding our context and contemporary 
hyperconnected nature. Well, the biggest takeaway from my work would be um, understanding the body in new ways, admitting that the world is changing and that there is a history of art as well as a body history that is currently changing and being recontextualized, especially coming from hard beauty standards imposed on women and valid dancers. I believe that the body will be enhanced and is already enhanced with technology now and in the near future. And of course, we need to learn to navigate through it in new adventurous ways.